Hey, Anthony here with another lesson from Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory series. In this video, I'll cover Unit 4, Lesson 16. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a new video. There is an index with links in the description so you can easily find the lessons you need. I highly recommend that you own a copy of this book and you're only watching this video to check your work, review, or because you got really stuck on something. Okay, let's get right into it. Um, today we are talking about eighth note rests. So um, this lesson is very, very similar to the eighth notes lesson from lesson 15. It's just uh, building an understanding of rests and, and what they mean in terms of eighth note rests. Okay, so an eighth rest looks like this, is equal to half the value of a quarter rest in two, four, three, four, and four, four time. So two eighth rests equal one quarter rest, right? So boom, boom, if you break a quarter note into two pieces, you get two eighth notes. Four eighth rests equal one half rest, so one, two, three, four, bam, equals that. Eighth rests, sorry, eight eighth rests equal one whole rest, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, boom. So, and remember, note values get their names for our, uh, how they function in 4-4 four, four time, right? So an eighth rest is one eighth of a 4-4 four, four measure. So there would be eight eighth note rests in a 4-4 four, four measure. So trace along the dotted lines to draw an eighth rest, then draw eight more. I'm not gonna draw all of these, but basically I kind of think of it as like a weird seven, just whoosh, whoosh, like a little curly Q7. You might see me even like write some, breaking my ink here, that just kind of look like a seven, right? So I'm not fancy at all with these. They don't have to look perfect. Uh, people will know what you're doing if they see something that looks like most of these, maybe not that one, um, but you'll see as we go on. Okay, so notes or rests on beats one, two, three, or four are considered on the beat. Tapping your toe evenly, the beat is when your toe touches the floor. Notes or rests on the and are considered off beat, oh, sorry, off the beat or upbeat. So basically, um, if you're looking at my pencil here, they're saying that's the downbeat, and when it comes up, that's the upbeat. So like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so like this example here, if we were gonna clap this out, it would be like this. One, two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and drop of my pencil okay let's get into the exercises and here we go okay so clap the following rhythm counting out loud here we go i'll give you a count off and then we're in one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so an eighth note with an eighth rest is going to sound very similar to a quarter note especially for a percussionist right you know this makes more of a difference if you're a wind instrument or a stringed instrument because that means this note is going to be shorter it's going to be a literal eighth note length with an eighth note of rest so that would make your notes shorter if you're playing an instrument that sustains notes okay so number two fill in the correct number how many eighth rests go into a half rest that is going to be four b how many eighth rests go into a quarter rest that's going to be two because remember you break down the quarter note boom into two eighth rests um, here we go. Uh, how many eighth rests go into a whole, uh, a whole rest? And notice they say specifically in four four time, because this would be different if it was three four time. A whole rest in three four would only be six, but in four four it's eight. And how many eighth note rests go into a half note plus a quarter note? That's going to be six. Four for the half note that we learned here two for the quarter note like up here for a total of six. Okay, number three, 
Change these quarter notes to single eighth notes, then add eighth rests between them. What? Okay, so basically you just gotta draw a flag on each of these, now they're eighth notes. Because remember the eighth note is just basically a quarter note with a flag. And then draw your little eighth notes in between. Boom, and there you go. You have eighth, eighth rest, eighth note, eighth rest, eighth note, eighth rest, eighth note, eighth rest. Okay, write the beats, one and two and, under the notes on the line below. Write whether the eighth rest occurs on or off the beat, okay? So let's just go ahead and write our counting in first. So I usually like to write ands in, right? Even for things that aren't playing. So put one and two and, since we're in two, four, across the whole thing. So one and two and, three and four, and one and two and oh wait i am so sorry thinking four four all right one and two and you got to start over one and two and one and two and again start over at one every time one and two and one and two and there we go and then, uh, for whether they're on or off the beat, right, uh, on the line below, right, whether the rest occurs on the on or the off beat. So this rest is on the off beat. So you just write off, right? Because ands are off beats, ones, twos are on beats. That's also an off beat. That's an on beat. That's an on beat for the rest. That is also an on beat for the rest. And that last rest is going to be an off beat. Let's just go ahead and count and clap this rhythm just to get a little bit of practice. And I'll tap my pencil. Here we go. One, two, one, and two, and. 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 There you go. And I would back that up if, if you had trouble reading that and just go over it again. All right, number five, complete the measures below by adding only one rest per measure. Write the beats, one and two and three and four and, under the notes and rests, then clap the rhythm. Okay, so we basically just gotta figure out what's missing from this measure and fill that in with one rest. So here, we've got a half note, which is two beats, a quarter note, which is one beat, and then you've got only one beat remaining since we're in 4-4. Four, four. The rest that we have that takes up one beat is going to be the quarter rest. So, and let's just put the counting in as we go. So one and two and, right? Because that half note gets four eighth notes. And each one of these counts, one and two and, when you're counting like that, the one is an eighth note, the and is an eighth note, and the two is an eighth note, and the and is an eighth note. Quarter note gets two eighth notes, so that's going to be three and. Quarter rest gets two eighth notes, so that's going to be a four and. All right, moving on. So here, let's count the total here. We've got one and, two and, three and, four. We still need the and, so we're missing one eighth note. They want it here. It's going to be an eighth note rest. Okay, and let's go ahead and write our counting in. Quarter note gets two counts, one and. These are eighth notes, so they each get a count. Two and, another eighth rest, that gets a count. Three that's an eighth note, so that gets only one count. That's a quarter note, it gets two counts, four and. Remember, every measure, you have to have one and, two and, three and, four and, all the way through, every single time. Make sure you get all the counting correct. All right, here, that's two beats plus two, a third beat plus a half a beat. So it's three and a half beats, we're missing one eighth note, and that's gonna be an eighth note rest, because that's what they're asking for. Go ahead and put that counting in, one, and, two, and, and then this is a half note which gets four eighth notes, so that gets the rest of the measure, three, and, four, and. And for our final measure, uh, looks like we have one beat here plus a second beat. Remember two eighth notes gives you one beat or one quarter note. So one, two beats total, we're missing two beats it's going to have to be a half rest that goes above the line sticking up and let's go ahead and run the counting in half rest gets four eighth notes so that's one and two m these are eighth notes so they each only get one count three and and finally the quarter note gets two eighth notes count 
Hey, thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe. Click the links to watch the next lesson or jump ahead to the unit for review and we'll see you soon. Thanks much.